Today I'm going to be talking about the principles that I live by. The first principle that I'm going to talk about is the principle of being a finisher. And I think this is probably the biggest, most important principle that I live my life by. And one of the reasons why is because it changed my life. If you don't know who I am, I'm John from BulldogMindset.com and on this channel I teach you to have the Bulldog Mindset which is the opposite of the Victim Mindset. To be a finisher, by the way finish the end of this video, <laughs> there you go, but to be a finisher means that when you start something, you finish it. You see it through to the end. And I know that seems really simple and really basic, okay, and a pretty basic simple thing to live your life by, but it is so key, it is so important, and it is pivotal in whether or not you're gonna see success in life. What happens if you have a river that you wanna cross, okay? And you build a bridge, okay? And what you do is you build that bridge so that it's 90% done, okay? Now imagine that you, you're building the bridge by little floating pylons or whatever it is to cross that bridge, okay? And you get 90% of the way there. How worthwhile is that bridge? How useful is that bridge? Zero, zero percent, because it's only useful if the bridge allows you to completely traverse the river. If it takes you 90% across the river and you still fall in and get eaten by crocodiles, it's no good. It's 0% effective, it's 0% valuable, it's worth nothing. But what have you done? You've expended time, you've expended money, you've expended energy, and you've gained nothing. It's sort of like investing in the stock market and putting your money in there and not, and not and, and not having ownership over the account. <laughs> it's like you're just throwing it in there and then you don't actually get anything. You don't get any benefit because you can't sell it because you, you don't actually own it. You don't want to throw your energy and time. You only have so much time on earth, okay? Like you're going to fucking die. I, I'm sorry, like now you're crying, but this is a surprise to you. It shouldn't be a surprise to you. I'm gonna die. You're gonna die. Why do you think you have an infinite time? Why do you think you can fuck around? Why do you think you can get the yellow belt in Taekwondo and not get the black belt and we're gonna waste your fucking time. Why are you gonna take a couple of lessons in something? Why are you gonna start that Android project, making that Android app or that iPhone app or building that website or building that business if you're not gonna fucking finish it? What's the point? You're just gonna waste your time that you have limited of and resources, right? And effort and you're gonna get nothing from it. Most people have what I call the closet of broken dreams. It's that closet, you open it up, you've got some soccer cleats in there, you know, a yellow belt from Taekwondo, a pool stick in there, right? All this kind of shit, like old guitar, right? Stuff that you thought you were gonna do, but you never became a finisher, you never finished it, so you wasted all this fucking time. The reason why you're not successful, the reason why that you don't have a business where you're not financially independent, okay? Well, you don't have that part of your bulldog fucking mindset in place, the reason why you don't have six pack abs, the reason why you're not achieving your goals is not because you can't do it. It's not because you don't have the knowledge, it's because you're quitting too early, you're not a fucking finisher. You're getting bored, you're getting tired. You need to learn to appreciate the grind. I've got a video on loving the grind and how the grind is so important. Life is a fucking grind. Everything valuable in life that you're gonna do is gonna be a fucking grind, you're not gonna like it. Okay, I mean you might like some things, you might have fun at first, but I guarantee you it doesn't matter what it is that you undertake, okay? Every single fucking thing that I've done that has been valuable in my life, I loved it at first pretty much, and then I fucking hated it. I wanted to die. I wanted it to die. I wanted to stab it with a fucking knife a hundred times, but I did it anyway. I finished it, or at least I, 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 when I became a finisher. See, before there was a period in my life that is clearly defined, that is pre-finisher John and post-finisher John. You've never seen pre-finisher John. You don't know who the fuck he is. You know why? Because he doesn't have any fucking books that he wrote. Pre-finisher John didn't write this book. Pre-finisher John didn't build a business. Pre-finisher John didn't make a YouTube channel. He didn't write a blog. He didn't make Simple Programmer. He didn't make Bulldog Mindset. He was fat. He didn't have six-pack abs, okay? He didn't fucking run marathons. He didn't do any of that shit. He did a lot of shit. He started a lot of shit. He had dreams of writing a book. He started a lot of books. Okay, pre-finisher John started a lot of martial arts classes. Pre-finisher John, he uh, m made a blog or a website at one point, I think, but didn't finish that shit. Okay, you don't know who he is because 
he didn't fucking matter. Because even though he put in a lot of work, and even though he was a smart guy, okay, and maybe even had some wisdom, he didn't, it didn't fucking matter because his bridge was 90% built, okay? A lot of you, you could be greater than you are. You could be bigger bulldogs than you are. The reason why you're not is because you are like pre-finisher John, okay? You're the version of yourself that lacks one of the most important things, which is to be a finisher. And that's why it's so important. It makes so much of a difference. That extra 10% to build the final part of the bridge goes from the value of the bridge being zero to it being 100%. When I wrote my book, my books, there were points where I wanted to give up. But I know that all the time I spend writing that book, until I actually finish it and ship it and sell that book and put it in people's hands, is all worthless. And if I don't do that, it makes that whole effort worthless. But if I do finish it, it suddenly becomes value. The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, you know how much money I make on this book? It's self-published. $10,000 a month. Every month I get a paycheck for $10,000 fucking dollars for finishing that book. Now your results may vary, okay? You, just because you write a book doesn't mean you're gonna make $10,000. I had a big audience and, and, and I've got s some ways to make that better and make that work, but I'm just giving you an example. Do you know how much money I would have gotten if I wrote the book 90% of the way? Zero dollars, zero dollars. Instead, 10,000, which would you rather have? Being a finisher is important. It is, is critically important because you're going to spend time, you're gonna spend effort on things. It's better for you to narrow your focus and pick a few things that, and, and they're gonna get boring and they're gonna suck and you're gonna to wanna to stab them with a knife like I did and you're gonna hate, hate them, but you're gonna grind them out and you're gonna finish them, okay? And when you do that, that's gonna be better than you doing a bunch of things and following your passion here and the passion there. I did this video where I was talking about passion versus purpose, and my passion says to do all this kind of shit, but my purpose says, fuck you, John. Get up, go run, go run 10 miles. My purpose tells me to do the shit that's important. That's being a finisher. I don't want you to start anything that you're not gonna fucking finish, right? You've, have you ever been in a fight with someone and they said, I'm gonna fucking finish this? <laughs> if you start this, I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna finish you. You need to be the finisher. You need to be Mortal Kombat, finish him, and rip his fucking, uh, fucking spine out of his neck, okay? That needs to be you. So don't, uh, don't start anything. When you go to start something, when someone says, hey, do you wanna run a marathon? Do you wanna train? Do you wanna start running? Do you wanna play guitar? Should we make an Android app? Should we build a business? I want you to play it forward. And I want you to begin with the end in mind. I want you to think, how is this shit gonna end? And if the shit is gonna end with you giving up after two months, cause you're tired of the shit, cause you don't wanna play guitar, cause your fingers fucking hurt, cause you're tired of running, then don't fucking start it. Don't waste the time. Don't waste the effort. Don't go to the gym. Don't go and run. Don't start the diet. If your plan is not to finish, if you know in your heart from the start that you are not gonna finish, then don't fucking do it. Instead, pick something else and do it or decide at that moment that you are going to finish. You're gonna execute, you're gonna finish the thing, you're gonna get it done. Otherwise, don't do it. So be a fucking finisher. Thanks for finishing this video. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.